David Ander back with a quick guide for everyone looking to add a second quest to their collection this holiday season and wondering what that means for access to their games library. The good news is that with only a few simple steps, you can enable the app share feature to access all your game purchases on both headsets at once. There are some limitations to the shared content that I'll touch on later, but the basic premise is that multiple users on one headset can access all the apps purchased by the primary user. A little less clear is how you access the same apps from a second headset at the same time. While it's ultimately fairly straightforward, the process can be a little counterintuitive at first glance, especially if two users with existing libraries are looking to share their purchases with each other. Make sure you're subscribed and keep an eye out for my second video covering that scenario. For this video, I'll be covering the more common situation where someone wants to use their apps on their old headset and their new headset at the same time. Remember, it's best to watch this video through its entirety to make sure you understand the process before setting up your new headset. For this example, we'll assume John owns a Quest 2 and has bought several games for it. John's wife Trisha has decided she wants to start playing VR, so she decides to pick up a Quest 3. Now the family will have a Quest 2 and a Quest 3, but all their game purchases are on John's account. If Trisha sets her Quest 3 up with her own account, she will not have access to John's games. If John adds himself as a secondary user to Trisha's Quest 3, Trisha and John can only access John's games by logging in as John on the Quest 3, and will appear as John when playing online. Even worse, they cannot run the same game at the same time to play together on both headsets, as they'll receive an error if they try. In order to properly set up app sharing for them, John actually has to set up Trisha's Quest 3 as his own, so he's the primary user on it. This can cause issues with receiving a referral bonus, so make sure to watch the video all the way through if that's a concern you have. Once the Quest 3 has been set up with John as the primary user, he needs to add Trisha as a secondary user. The last step in order to give Trisha access to John's games is John needs to enable app sharing on the Quest 3 via the user menu. Note, a user can only enable app sharing on one device at a time, so if app sharing was enabled on John's Quest 2, he would have to disable it first. And that's it. Trisha will now be able to download any app John has already purchased on the Quest 3. This includes the ability to play the same game as John at the same time, even playing together in a multiplayer game. For most people, this should be all you need to do. At this point, you can opt to go one extra step and add both users to both headsets to give a maximum flexibility of who plays where. Now there are a few caveats to app sharing that you should be aware of. First off, the biggest caveat by far is that DLC is not shared. Any downloadable content like extra levels and music packs will only be available to the account that purchased it. So in this case, while John and Trisha could play Beat Saber together, any music pack he bought, Trisha would have to buy again to have access to. Secondly, some games may not support app sharing. Older games that came out before app sharing may not support app share at all or may just not work for multiplayer together. As of the last time I tried it, when app sharing Creed rise to glory, the players could not see each other online unless both of them had bought the game. Lastly, while not technically a caveat of app sharing, anyone setting up a new Quest device can receive up to $60 in store credit by using another user's device referral. If you haven't already received a device referral, check the video details for a link to one that you can use. Any device referral credit I receive goes to support this channel and its routine free game giveaways. In order to get the new device referral store credit in this case, Trisha would want to accept John's device referral and then set up her Quest 3 for the first time to receive her store credit. Once the setup is complete, both John and Trisha will get their respective store credit, and then Trisha would be able to factory reset her Quest 3 and complete the app sharing steps in this video. And there you have it. Your entire Quest library is now available on both your headsets. So what do you think? Are there any app sharing caveats I didn't think of? Let me know down in the comments if so. As always, thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more great VR content, and happy holidays!